Hello guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we are going to swap out our standard halogen headlight uh, for the Royal Enfield Himalayan and also the tail light uh, with LED light. So there you have for the headlight the part number for uh, the headlight that I got. Uh, this cost $59 for all three of those lights you see in there and there is the replacement LED uh, light and this one it, actually I like it a lot because it has that beautiful halo uh, like you would see on more modern versions of uh, the Harley Davidson and other bikes uh, it just gives a more modern look uh, without compromising the lines of the Royal Enfield Himalayan so uh, it has a low beam high beam and also uh, the standard you know halo that is on whenever you switch on the key uh, one of the things that uh, actually drew me to this uh, LED switch is that my Royal Enfield Himalayan uh, I would say about 50% of the time when I go to ride the bike the battery is dead so I just believe that the halogen uh, bulb and also the tail light they were pulling just too many uh, too much amps from the battery if the bike sat idling uh, the type of riding I do I don't really do a lot of long distance uh, high speed so I think my battery doesn't get the chance to fully charge all the time <clears throat> so now we're looking at the wiring that's what it looks like we will be keeping the yellow wire on both um, ends of that connector the black one it's not necessary so we will be uh, cutting off the black wire and uh, on the bulb side we'll be keeping the red red wire the green one we won't be using it uh, it's protected by a sleeve so I will just let it be so to start with uh, we took out the headlight from its housing uh, there's some retainer clips and uh, then after we took out the clips we swapped over the new LED light uh, making sure that the orientation was correct and then we kept the wiring like you see right there you know, try to get as close as you can to the housing that way you have uh, a nice length to play with black wire you don't really need it so I'll just cut it off and uh, make sure the little piece that is left cannot touch any part of uh, of the internals you know and cause a short circuit or any problem so we go ahead there and do the cut almost feels like I'm repeating myself and now we have everything hooked up and you have the tap connector there and uh, we are ready to test and see and make sure everything is working as uh, it should so I took everything out to the bike and I will hook up everything turn on the bike and make sure everything uh, lights up low beam high beam everything works You can see I have those clips in the back to hold uh, everything in place. So after testing, everything seems to work. Uh, that's the old headlight uh, assembly, headlamp assembly with the bulb. And these are the fog lamps, which I will be mounting on the bike at some point in the future. They are really really good quality for the price uh, $59 you cannot go wrong and just uh, for comparison sake just the tail LED bulb uh, they come in a pair that cost about $22 so, so everything is complete now um, I have the new LED headlight on I really love it already and uh, I also activated the halo which looks really dope um, in my opinion it modernizes the look of the bike um, let me turn off the engine 
and uh, one issue that I usually had with the bike was after sitting for a few days I would try to start up the bike and uh, it would it would just be dead uh, when you turned on the engine before prior um, you would have the fuel pump that will activate of course the ECU and the headlight also now I can't stress enough this headlight draws a lot of power uh, if I like when I had the incandescent bulb in there, I would put my hand like right here and you would feel the intensity of the heat So with the LED it feels pretty cool A little bit warm, but not hot like uh, the incandescent bulb would be right now so I think with the uh, lower power draw and uh, The fact that I don't use the bike that much uh, this should be able to not drain the battery or have the battery fully charged every time I use the bike I had the same issue with uh, my Roxor and I changed both headlights maybe that was part of the problem but uh, since I changed the headlights uh, I think I get a uh, more start time than prior because uh, I drive the Roxor most of the time with my headlights on so the other thing I might change is uh, just is going to be the bulb here. When I change the bulb there, I should be pretty much done with uh, with the lighting. The auxiliary lights, I might find a home for them, Some maybe somewhere here on the frame. Uh, but that might interfere with carrying water and, uh, and gas, if at all I end up using this space right here. So that's it guys. Uh, my impressions I think it looks great uh, let's try the high beam that's the high beam low beam high beam low beam and then if you hit this button uh, the flasher you can see what it does amazing I love it <laughs> all right thanks for watching and uh, catch you guys on the next one so with everything in place, uh, I thought about going for a ride and that's when the idea came to me to just go ahead and change the brake tail light and swap it over to LED. And uh, so yeah, I stopped, made a run to town and uh, got what I needed for the job on the tail. And that is the bulb I got from my local Napa store. It's actually red, <laughs> even though the housing uh, for the bulb is red itself. But I got the red one. And uh, the part number did not actually match. And I don't think he had the cross reference. So we just eyeballed and figured out what we thought would work. And goodness thank goodness it worked and uh, you can see that's activating the brake um, it doesn't seem very bright but it's actually bright and uh, when the bike is running it's it's much more visible so to get to the brake light uh, there's a zip tie right where my hand is you get that zip tie unplug uh, 10 millimeters and then you push back and then there are two Phillips screws that will be exposed and then you can get to the bulb so it's pretty straightforward of course I did not replace that zip tie <laughs> there's so many zip ties on this bike and when you fire up the bike uh, the light actually gets brighter you can see it a little bit better now it's kind of dim but when you activate the brake like i did right there you can definitely see it for sure uh, if this was a darker day you would have easily seen uh, that tail light so it's not as bad as it seems on camera <laughs> did a quick run to town got some gas uh, still just loving uh, the headlight and this is about 50 miles away from home uh, went for a nice ride I think I put about 110 miles today and I'm slowly approaching the 1000 mile mark just a few shots of the bike and uh, I believe at some point here I realized that headlight is totally crooked 
uh, it's turned way 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 clockwise so I, I would have to re uh, turn it counterclockwise to have it more balanced this is just a walk around of the bike approaching a thousand miles and you can see that the headlight is totally crooked <laughs> somehow I missed it uh, the first pass so I got everything sorted out and now you can see the bike uh, this is a test at night just to see how bright uh, the headlight is as you can see it's very very bright uh, it has a very white you know light color I think it's about 6000 K and that's the high beam low beam and high beam so all in all, I'm very satisfied with these mods, uh, simple, under $100 and it should typically take less than 20 minutes to accomplish. Uh, and that's the view from the front. Uh, the camera is not picking up the high low beam very well, but that's how bright it is. And uh, time to go for another ride. <laughs> I'm totally loving this bike. Uh, going slow speeds on these dirt roads, or it will hold 70 miles per hour all day long so far, and I'm pleased with that. So I can cover quite some ground on uh, paved roads if I so decide. Thanks for watching, and uh, hope you guys are enjoying your Himalayans if you own one, or if you're thinking about getting one. I think it's a great bike, and so far, my ownership experience has been awesome thanks for watching see you guys on the next video